Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here, and welcome to the actual first look that we're getting of FIFA 14 running on a next-gen console. This is running on the Xbox One, and you can see here uh, that this is pretty much, technically, I'm putting in the video, this is gameplay, and I use the word gameplay very lightly. When I actually say the word gameplay, I'm actually, you can't tell, but I'm doing the thing with my index fingers and middle finger that I'm just like, you know, the whole quotation marks, because technically, this isn't really gameplay, but this is, this is pretty much coming straight from within the game. It's just replays of things that, of course, EA wanted to show. Um, this vision is coming straight out of E3. That was, of course, a few days ago or maybe a day or two ago. It really just depends on how quickly I can um, <laughs> get this video up to you guys. And uh, yeah, pretty much they were just showing in this um, in this video just a bunch of the new things that they've added into FIFA 14 and all the improvements that they put in and what they're able to accomplish running on the um, uh, running on the new engine, the uh, Ignite engine, and, of course, what they're able to do now in FIFA 14 uh, on the Xbox One, and or at least, yeah, this is running on the Xbox One, but everything that you'll be able to see, they'll be putting in PS4 anyway. I mean, you all know that, but uh, yeah, guys, um, yeah, they're pretty much showing just a whole bunch of, you know, minor improvements that, and like new little features that they put into the game, which really don't, you know, change anything. It's again, it's like FIFA 11.4. What are we at? FIFA, I don't know, but yeah, like things like that, for example, Busquets, um, you know, it's pretty like, instead of making a tackle and just kicking the ball away, he actually gets his body in front of the player, shields the ball, and then wins it. How cool is that, guys? Revolutionary. Game-changing. Okay. Now, I'm taking the piss, but, I mean, yeah, it is kind of a bit of a wank, but, I mean, there's still good features in there. I mean, for example, uh, you can kind of see in the background a little bit. You'll probably get a better look at it toward the end, but um, uh, especially when Messi scores a goal right at the end, but uh, the, the crowd, people, the crowd looks absolutely, and now you can't see anything about the crowd, but, no, the crowd actually looks fantastic, and I... Um, I mean, you probably uh, can't tell all too much because um, this is the best quality vision that I was able to get to you guys. And um, I probably should have got that out of the way a little bit sooner. But yeah, um, yeah, it's not perfect HD. It's, it's not entirely clear. It's a little bit pixelated. But this is the best I could go, uh, I could get for you guys. And um, I really wanted to, um, yeah, I really want to show you guys this vision because this is it. This is what we're hopefully going to be getting in September, October, or, you know, to, to be totally honest, whenever they release the next-gen consoles. This is what we'll be looking forward to. And, um, yeah, the first look at FIFA 14 on a next-gen console is kind of a big deal, so I really wanted to show you guys this vision. And, um, yeah, again, I'll, I'll just really quickly get back to the crowd. Like, um, in FIFA 13, for example, they, they were just, like, two-dimensional, a bunch of pixels. They didn't do anything when you scored a goal. They didn't jump, like, they didn't leap up, for example, when, um, yeah, they didn't, like, really leap up in the air when you scored a goal, like, they would in real life and um yeah but now it looks like they do do that you can tell you'll be able to see toward the end when Messi scores a goal and um yeah and they look fantastic they actually look everybody in the crowd looks three-dimensional maybe um I don't know if they'll be like that for the entire stadium maybe only for like the first tier or two but um maybe up the top they'll be a little more 2d but hey we, we don't really know the full power of uh what EA are going to what all game developers are going to be able to accomplish in um with these new next-gen consoles. But yeah, either way, it's still the game. I'll go to graphics a little bit more here, but um, the game looks fantastic. It, re it really does look like that obviously it's, <coughs> obviously, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you would hope that, it, um, you would hope that it would have a bit of an improvement on the graphics considering it's a next-gen console. But yeah, it does look pretty good, but to be totally honest, not as good as what I thought it might look considering it's on a brand new state of the, or maybe, I don't know, but like the most up-to-date uh, stuff that we can be hoping for on console. So, uh, and you know something else as well. This is I don't know if um, I mean surely I'm not the only one that thinks this, but is it just me or does this game look just a little? No, I mean not not even just, but it looks a bit like Pez. It really does, in my honest opinion, a little bit like Pez 2013. Only the real difference is when players run, they don't run like they've got a dick up their ass. But um, uh, no, I, I feel like it kind of with these new graphics looks a little bit like Pez and. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's just my opinion. I mean, uh, tell me in the comment section if you kind of feel the same way. But uh, either way, guys, I just um, I'm pretty much going to stop talking and just let the rest of I'm just probably just going to throw some dubstep or whatever over the um, over the uh, over the top of this uh, vision, and we'll just let it carry out. There's probably about I don't know four or so minutes left to go, and probably about three to be honest. But um, yeah, guys, this is it—the first real look. And how about this for defending? I just hopefully they'll show it again. But uh, this is just some quality defending past Neymar. But um, in a minute, here we go. Here we go. Flat-footed, doesn't give a fuck. Oh, damn it, they, did, they didn't show it. Oh, well, too bad. But guys, um, that's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching this uh, video. And of course, the first look that we're getting of FIFA 14 
on a next-gen console, Xbox One. It's looking, uh, it's, I'm excited, and uh, have a look at that. Chavi jumping over a through ball. EA, revolutionary, you've done it again. <laughs> but, um, uh, it's okay, I'm, I'm done taking the piss. But either way, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching, and uh, uh, don't forget to stay tuned, because I know this isn't like one of my normal career mode videos or Ultimate Team videos, but uh, I do have a Southampton career mode episode coming up later today. So keep, uh, yeah, keep an eye open for that, and... Uh, that's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching, guys. Like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter, and that'll do it for me. Thank you for watching, guys. We've got more replays to come, and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.